Hello and welcome everybody and I'm sorry for not um, keeping up with some of these uh, videos updates as uh, stated but many of you know we suffered a, a major loss in our family my mother passed unexpectedly last week so uh, we've been uh, dealing with other issues but that doesn't mean that um, she wouldn't want me to continue and she knows um, that my career uh, it was good for us, for our family, and she'd want that to for me to continue. So therefore, I just wanted to put out uh, what we've been doing in our trading room. And I know last week was probably, I don't know, I don't think, I it, it, it's for sure the most difficult trading week of my career. And I lived through the um, market melt-up. That's where I, I really accelerated in my career was back in 84 85 86 the melt up in in uh, bond prices as interest rates were crashing remember um and that was my field day as i started to learn how to trade options after my tenure with uh, working with george lane the creator of stochastics i lived through the uh, crash in 87 i mean the, the list goes on and on and on of my career um but losing a, a your mother and your family member is uh, something that while the markets are going on um, and the world just doesn't stop for that and, and um, you know it puts a lot of strain and, and pressure um, so with that said we we came out pretty well in fact it was also probably therapeutic for me to uh, to join our trading room and we had a lot of great excellent uh, trades that we popped off uh, which we'll quickly review but what I wanted to get to straight to the point today was simply this morning uh, we had the identification and we're going to just uh, first briefly this morning this is what I was re referencing this trade here I said it got out of my short position and we're going to examine that level um, in in just a minute because that was important and then I said it will stop out the trailing stop now this is my algo optimizer and it's just I mean uh, I got no words other than amazing if you're around and you've gotten an email I would certainly um, attend our uh, algo 17 class that we're giving out today if not maybe look for the email on the uh, web recording but what I talked about is that short position a will go and review why we were looking at shorts B why that covering of the short was so important and C the trailing stop function then it went long on a breakup, a back above pivot, which was very important. It got out at the profit target, and it's just now flat, which is cool because you'll notice that it's the max bars. And why is that cool? Because the Federal Reserve meets, and the system is now off. So no trades. The, the Fed comes out in about 16 minutes um, for the market. So first, let's talk about this 84 number. Why was that important to us? And why was the market, why is this an important uh, buy signal one of the John person signature trade setups we call them trilogy the market broke a downtrend the market closed greater than these gray dot lines and the market also closed greater than on a bullish outlook day blue above it's hard to see that's the pivot this gold line is the person's pivot moving average blue above gold suggests the markets in a bullish condition when markets go down below pivot you look for the markets to close back up and then look for good long setups. What's a good long setup? A 15 minute or actually a close. Again, this is my trading plan. My trading plan looks for trilogy sets setups. And this is what I went over in the live trading room. We had an uptick in our volume indicator. On balance, volume was upticking and crossed over its MA, moving average. And the market went back above its pivot and thus generating a buy signal and a nice trade. We actually prognosticated this uh, move over today and into last night. One of the many reasons coming into today, why was this move important? Well, um, for those that are in my trading room, you know we talked about why the market, it was this last conditional change because that is the first time we saw a market do an equal and opposite, equal and opposite, resistance, 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 resistance. And then the market tried to pop and then flopped. So an equal and opposite or a two bar reversal means one bar goes up and the next bar goes down or even goes down even worse. Like in this case, like in this case, like in this case. So what negates a, uh, a reversal when you get 
two or more closes greater than than it's never done before right and you get an uptick in volume and that's why yesterday we were bullish and the, the breakout in the market when we came into the live trading room this morning I said we're in a 60 minute sell signal the moving averages are pointing down if the market's truly bullish it, or at least if it's the bull breakout is to sustain old resistance should act as new support and that is the coincidence and I just wanted to re-emphasize that if you were in the rot live trading room today that this area was critical mass critical of importance and the fact that the system did go short and covered the position at that level was just amazing it was a coincident factor so that's number one so I, I just wanted to review that little life lesson a how do we look for better quality setups in the market using person's pivots on a bullish day if the market's trading below the pivot look for breakouts back above the pivot a and B the old adage what was resistance should turn into support and that's what we have now just moving forward we've got the Fed meeting if this market closes underneath that line in the sand that's uh, probably not a good sign so we're going to be looking at overall volume trends in the next day or two and breadth of the market when it comes to looking at the S&Ps. Now let's look at one other metrics and something I want to cover quickly with every, for, for you guys. All right. So when we get into this is a S&P. This is a spider. This is a, a spider model that we use and um, for trades and identification. I mean, uh, phew, goes short. I mean, this was last week covers the short again didn't sell the high didn't buy the low took a just the phenomenal chunk of the middle of the market just so that you can understand um, what's on your screen this tells you exactly what kind of classification the uh, trigger or sell signal was it was a PPS sell signal and it gets in the market and the blue line represents a profitable trade and it tells you it reversed on a high closed OG HCD and went long now the funny thing is it did go short the system this is a 60 minute spider and immediately got out so it went in and it is flat now on the left side of your screen over here this is our volatility VXX system it takes short only so it doesn't take longs because of a contango crush element so this is a trade that actually went short and actually covered the position and you see bright blue is a profitable trade there haven't been since the beginning of October in fact let's take this a step further all right so the essence of this trade there hasn't been a whole lot of really great short trades yet in the market because the volatility there was nothing until we got into I mean for all practical purposes until we started October I mean we went through all of pretty much August and then September right and then now we come into October with this huge move and we just haven't really gotten what we normally would see in volatility better triggers on the short side so let's take a look this is just going back for the summer right so if you take a look at the summer wow a short gets out with a little loss a short makes money a short makes money a short wow runs the trend runs the trend you could just see all of these wonderful incredible trades so how incredible are they well let's take a look I don't I mean I don't mean to say incredible like stratospheric rate of return but this is the model that if it generates that type of um, you know an equity curve uh, that's pretty dynamic friends okay and this is over the life of the BXX this is going back since uh, 2010 so yeah it has had periods of slight drawdown slight drawdown slight drawdown drawdown but the time period that it spends in a drawdown or inactivity is very far and few between so we did see a brand new trade uh, this week that is offset and the funny thing is note that it is flat the market ahead of the Fed so that's a good thing too so the 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 interesting aspect of the market right now is both the spiders and the VXX are flat ahead of the Fed and so is the day trading e-mini S&P system so that that has to tell you something futures have different dynamics between the signals because it trades 24 hours the spider doesn't trade 24 hours 
that 15 minute e mini s p system had nothing to do with a 60 minute spider system right and again there's different elements on the vxx because of the contango issues sometimes the vxx or volatility can go down and the stock market doesn't have to go up it just has to stay flat right so there's a like a like an option like a theta decay and time decay this has a contango issue of kind of like a time element between how it trades against the forward futures months but we look at this as a an exceptional which is one of the reasons we launched j person asset management and if you'll notice here not many times even this year i mean this is the short only model because the vxx yeah every once in a while you're going to get a crash in the market you're going to miss an opportunity but the the key element is after the market resets it's destined to do one thing and that's go down look what happened in february this thing was trading all the way up at 55 where is it now um currently look what it's done all all year it just goes down 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 and here we are trading at 32 so my my supposition is if we do enter into another new leg to the upside in the market it would reset this thing to possibly newer lows on the year and even down to where i want you to look at this number it has had four times it has done reverse one for four splits so and it's done so at around between 11 and 14 i think is the number so can it get back down to that zone absolutely that's only if the market doesn't have to make the s p does not have to make new highs right which it looks promising it doesn't have to make new highs what the s p has to do is stop falling so anyway just uh, we're not asking for a lot right so looking at the market are we in a position for further rallying um we look pretty we we look fairly healthy we're in a pps buy mode for the russell to recover a but i would like to see stronger breadth and i would like to see the market really get back above its pivot resistance and that red line moving average notice over here the nasdaq composite same thing needs to get back over its red line look at this needs to get over that moving average look at the dow needs to get over that moving average look at the Qs needs to get over that moving average now look at the s p's needs to get over that moving average so the moving averages on a daily basis are pointing lower in all top six stock indices so i guess the point that i was asked last week is the low in i don't know about the low but it's a tradable low okay it's a tradable low and we could chop around for a while and when do we get a more defined bullish uptrend well i'll give you a couple things based on the the person indicators and my methodology that i teach a number one let's examine when we had the last big uh, little mini market meltdown and we'll wrap this up a when the market fell note that the advanced decline numbers and my moving average it wasn't the until we started to do what see acceleration in both price and the volume and lastly the advanced decline analysis so when we get that advanced decline and when we get upside in volume those are our best trade setups and more reliable it doesn't mean that you can't go long it just means it might be just a not a sustainable trend to the upside so it, this for example it gets over the moving average the volume and the advanced decline what they're all in sync and you get a what a tradable a, a, a more longer duration trend that can develop in the market versus a what choppy trading range in the market doesn't mean we can't make money you need to be a little bit more nimble so the question begs are we in that situation at least in the russell right now where we could see a defined trend building and the answer right now until the trend reverses and we start to see higher highs and higher lows in price until we start to see more accumulation in volume and specifically until the advanced decline starts to move in a positive unison to confirm that price action the answer is we are still only in a tradable range right now and just lastly that's the same type of situation that we see in the s p's right now you'll notice while we do have a pps buy signal 
it it doesn't it doesn't really it's it's different from this one it's different from that one because we're not in a very positive um position both in volume on balance volume advanced decline and the relationship of key keywords here persons pivots i hope you enjoyed this outlook of the market tradable low versus trending low to trade off of different story i thank you for your time and for all of those who have already um sent uh, condolences and well wishes uh may i say that they were utmost uh thoughtful and i can't tell you how grateful we were from my family and to you thank you all very much and i hope you enjoyed this market outlook